everyone i hope you are this is coins kid i'm um, just going to do an update on one because you can see obviously we've had a correction and i will try and keep you updated on one in the channel um hopefully every day it, you know if not do head over if you don't see me doing an update in one then do head over to the telegram group there i am trying to think of alternative ways to keep people updated with these uh, particular projects because obviously the more i cover the more bloated the content's going to get in the in the channel and it's quite difficult for me to actually get the content out there but i will try and create a new medium or, or some way of you know getting some help or something to, to to move forward with this okay so basically just looking at one okay we, we have outlaid our support levels okay and if you do stay tuned to the channel you will see what they are and we will update you in real time you know up there we've got that price appreciation that price prediction that we've given based on the market cap and tokenomics of of uh, harmony one okay but you can see you know it, it looks scary it's collect correcting just there and it, it does relatively you know people panic and they start to think oh no and and, and and jump ship and stuff but what i would say to you you know wait for these support levels if, if it was to fall any further i'm not saying it will you know you may see the recovery here and we will zoom in now in a moment but we'll just just discuss this okay so what you've got the rsi there is it's starting to roll over starting to come down just like i said to you in 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 the previous video there where you do get that roll down you want to see the rsi come down into this level really you know just like it was down there because when you see it has a correction okay it comes down and retests some of these levels especially this 20 ema this is a daily time frame don't forget so if it was to come down and, and retest this daily ema you can see it's perfectly healthy and you would sort of be resetting some of those levels now one thing you do need to keep an eye on okay on the macd on the daily time frame what i'll do i'll move this up for you a little bit okay you can see the curl here okay this is called a macd and this is the histogram okay and these are your lines that and basically you can see the curl in the blue line here and it's starting to roll over what you've got to keep an eye on with that is that the blue line doesn't go under the orange line because that is a bearish cross okay and this is on the daily time frame so what you need to see there is something called a macd repel okay so well you need the lines to come together and, and get that repel where they uh, fail to cross one another okay because on on the alternative situation you know you, you have something when they cross it's called a bullish cross on the macd's and that's something that we target in this channel and as you can see when the blue line went above the orange line there in the macd again this is an indicator that you can bring up in your charts you just go to indicators and search for it. it's called macd okay and you drop it in and just have it default you don't need to tinker with the settings okay you see a lot of people tinkering with the settings just leave it as it is by default okay and then you will see that in in, in the macd there okay you can see that bullish cross on on the daily time frame you know when you get that signal look at look at how good that, that signal is okay you get that huge pump that huge push which was formed down here okay after this correction we had that correction pretty much similar to what we're looking at if we zoom in it i'll zoom in so i can show you okay so you've gone up in the macd you start to roll a little bit on the blue line okay you start to roll and just there in that correction you actually formed a bearish cross where you started to fall under uh the the, the line there and you start to roll over in the price as well if you can see you went up you had your top you come back down you got your other top which was a extinguished uh second high so basically you're looking at a, a flattening curve and a, and a running out of steam buying pressure okay doesn't mean that the market's over and it's going to kaput it just means a correction okay and a, a retest of support a level of consolidation and reset some of these levels and you can see that the macd there rolled over formed the bearish cross you came down you had your reconsolidation and your re you know re reallocation and retest of these and refueling of these rocket ships okay got down tested the emas there and then you start to reverse in the histogram so you have that bearish histogram there and then you got the reverse and once you form the bullish cross just there look at the power you got off that okay you got an enormous amount of power there after resetting all the levels and, and marching on and pushing upwards so effectively you know what you've got a target now in the macd if you bring up your charts if you start to see this rolling okay and this blue line goes over the the, the 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 orange line there and forms a bearish cross okay like this okay that will be a, a really good indication that you are potentially looking at that further correction for one so i am going to keep you updated okay you know e even if it's i just want to clarify with you know even if it was to come down and correct off these levels i'm not saying it will but if it was i want you to just realize that you are just testing support and it's perfectly healthy in this uptrend okay because harmony one is really making progress and you know what it might this the correction might be over we're going to zoom in in a minute in, in a four hourly time frame and we may see something else that we will talk 
target okay but at the minute you know if it was to correct do target these levels we do we have outlined them already in the channel for you so you can keep an eye on these and again you can bring up your indicators and your charts and you just this is a daily time frame and lay down your own support levels okay so you can keep an eye on it and what you don't want is what you don't want to see okay what you don't want to see is this and i'll just explain it to you okay I drop the volume back. I drop that back in there. Anyway, so what you don't want to see is this. Uh, this is called a candle, okay? Candlestick, and you don't want to see that green bar or red. It, it, it depends whatever color it is, closing below this line. Because if you get the body, okay, which is fully closed below that line, you are looking at that correction down to that level there, okay, off that M double top, and that's basically a pattern that kind of plays out. Uh, like I say to all my subscribers, patterns are valid until invalidated, okay? And at the moment. The, the, the pattern that's playing out is the bullish bias where you've got this sort of W bottom, okay? You're looking at the V-shaped bottom, so to speak, uh, a basically recovery as, you, as you're coming down to test support and you're marching onto these levels. And what we'll do, we'll zoom in on the 4 hourly now, okay, and I can show you. So effectively on the 4 hourly, you can see straight away off the bat, we've got a double M top where we've come up, made the high, rolled over, uh, found a level of support, which we've got the target in there for the channel. And then we've gone up and, and we have actually made the, the high there. The previous, the all time high is greater than that one. So that actually is quite, quite good because when, when you see these double M patterns, you usually see a high and then it goes down and forms a lower high. So actually the trend is actually really uh, intact. So that's even more of a high percentage to the bullish bias here. OK, that you're potentially looking at this 55 EMA retest, a bounce off support, a march onwards and upwards for harmony. So I would definitely will keep an eye on that, you know, on the four hourly time frame here because it is looking relatively strong. I'm just seeing whether or not I can see any other kind of pattern here. So on the four hourly, immediately off the bat, what, what can you see? OK, you see this particular pattern playing out here. You've got this. OK, so you've got you've got a, a low a higher low and then a higher low okay because you've just wicked down there okay found a level of support on that wick which is between the emas you've got this yellow line which is a 20 you've got the 55 which is the red line okay so you, you've got supported between them just like you did there when you come down and you form that low you've got that support and you start to move up and you made the high okay and just like there you've got this you've got a high and then a high and then a high high i know it's not beautiful but you are effectively making uh, you know a, a high then a high and then a, a higher high which is your all-time high which is this so at the moment you know the trend i say this a lot okay the trend is your friend and all you're doing is back testing support again harmony is extremely extremely strong it's extremely bullish and looks really really strong you look like potentially you're going to bounce off this channel okay and if you can see you're sort of going up down up down up down up down like that and you're just progressively going up before you start making these highs so you are looking relatively healthy what you don't need to see here okay for harmony one and we we are transparent in this channel we'll tell you you know we'll keep you updated all the time on harmony one as, as much as we can as quick as we can as well obviously in the channel what you don't need to see so what you don't need to see is you start making lower lows here okay because and especially because you don't want to see the lower low than this support here because what this is effectively you know even though that did make that high there and then you got that higher high that is actually really strong okay but you still could potentially be looking at a, a double m top it's basically a double m top pattern where you are effectively running out of steam and you have also got a, another pattern here which is a very bullish pattern i'm going to show you in a moment okay so effectively all I'm trying to say to you is that if this starts to come down okay and you lose this high then this pattern is in play which is the reversal and a correction down to that level okay but at the moment the trend is your friend and the pattern that is in play which is valid is the bullish bias because what you're forming there is higher higher lows okay and higher highs but you've also got another pattern which i've just spotted as i've just been talking to you right now which again we always target every pattern we can see here and we'll always be transparent with you okay and keep you updated and that's the beauty of this channel we're not like other moon boys that will say hey yeah harmony one it's got this it's got this market cap of 100 and it's going to 100 billion and and, and and it's going to be a hundred dollars we'll tell you where the fallback and potential price predictions are and, and potential support as, as it creeps up because you're not always going to go up like this okay it's not always going to be beautiful you are going to have pullbacks you are going to have drawbacks and and the aim of this channel is to hopefully help you trade for one okay learn to trade and also 
you know you could if you knew that I was confident that that was a pretty much of a top you could have been selling there okay and then you could have been buying back on this retest and what that does that it allows you to reaccumulate more of these harmony one tokens because at the end of it you, you've appreciated more and you know the more you can get in your bag the better obviously it's, it's healthier for everybody so that's what we're doing on this channel is just teaching you along the way how to stay in the game how to stay healthy how to read the charts and how to you know move forward in this space and and, and learn so getting back to that pattern and i'm sorry i'm chatting on i'm just trying to outline my, my, my thesis beyond this channel so basically what we've got here is another pattern okay so you've gone up you've gone up there and you've made that top okay we know that and then you've you formed a level of resistance there because you've made that top as well so what you've got here okay you've got that resistance there and what you've done you've come down okay you didn't quite get to this bottom here okay because that this bottom was created by this bottom this correction okay so what you've done there you've created something called and you're potentially looking at this being called created you've got this pattern here which that is called a left shoulder that's called a head and that's called a right shoulder providing that this doesn't break down anymore okay and breaks this support line you are looking at an inverse head and shoulders pattern which is a bullish pattern okay because what happens is you, you go up and you you can do it equally you can go you can go up and create one or you can come down and create one okay so it's an inverse head and shoulders you've gone up you've made a top and you've started to correct you've had a low okay which was looked bad but then you started to come back and what you've done you've you've made a, another low which was higher okay and then you've gone back again you've tested the resistance okay of, of the high and you couldn't quite get through it but in this case you did make the high so that's good in itself but then what you're doing you're coming back and you, you're forming a lower a higher low just there which is effectively a right shoulder okay and uh and then obviously if that's weakening it means that the trend is actually weakening this sell-off this selling pressure is actually weakening and the bulls are stepping in and taking over and they're actually pushing the price up so it's a precursor basically you know if, if you was to get that now I, I with a high confluence that you could say that if you was to break back through these emas this 20 year on the daily to, uh, on the four hourly time frame you know and, and get back above which could happen okay and you, and you do march on and you start going towards that and you have a little bit of a resistance there but you know potentially that you're forming this pattern here where you are still forming the higher lows okay and you have got this head and inverse head and shoulders pattern okay on the four hourly time frame you know there's a high probability that you are going to push through that level of resistance and push on because the buying pressure's there okay so i hope i'm explaining that to you properly so basically you know you can do this press alt and i on the keyboard and you inverse the, the the chart okay so you can you can effectively see it like this you're coming down and you're creating a head and shoulders see that that's your head left shoulder head right shoulder and what it is it's it's a continuation trend okay because imagine coming down okay and, and, and this is a bear this is actually a bearish uh pattern head and shoulders but you're looking at inverse head and shoulders okay because you're coming down you're breaking up and you're making high okay then you're coming down and then you're making another high which is a higher high okay it's high it looks good yay we've reversed oh we're doing really well but then you actually don't you actually come down and you retest the support and then what you do you come up and you look like you're recovering again and you're not okay you're running out of steam and the the the, be, the, the selling pressure is still there and it's pushing you down and it's validated by this lower high and it pushes you down and then you look to test the support again and you know what you do tend to fall for it there's high statistic for head and shoulders and inverse head and shoulders playing out okay especially in continuation trends so imagine that this was falling okay because this is what a bear market looks like like, okay everyone always says what do, how do you know when you're in a bear market this is a bear market okay like, like this not a minute i've inversed the chart but you will see in a bear market okay you're being constantly repressed by the emas do you see this is a, this is the 20 ema and it's a four hourly time frame and you're just constantly in a downtrend and then you might bottom out somewhere okay like this you sort of bottom out you create a w bottom and you come up and you actually make a high higher than that one so you've invalidated the head and shoulders okay i hope you're staying with me on this and then you've invalidated that head and shoulders and then you're actually marching on and you're making a reversal so in a bear market you'll go on for a little bit but then you'll roll over again okay and then you'll be 
be back under the EMAs and you'll be repressed and you might come up for air sometimes, but you are constantly in a downtrend. Okay, and this is what a uptrend looks like. This is an uptrend, okay? You're constantly above the EMAs, you're constantly above this yellow line. You might dip down on the red line sometimes, you know, but when you zoom out in the grand scheme of things, i.e. on the daily, okay, you look at the daily, all right, you're constantly above the EMAs. Okay, look, you're above the EMAs. Down here, you see, look, you're in a downtrend. That's that's a bear market just there, okay? You're in a downtrend, you're under the EMAs. You're coming up for air, just like I said. You know, you, you might gasp around, you think, oh, reversal, market reversal. But there'll be signals in that there. If I was to dive in any, any closer, I could give you signals that that's a fake out and you're looking at reversal. You've potentially got a head and shoulders pattern in there that's played out and, and come back down. So if you stay with the channel, I will educate you and I will teach you and I'll show you where the trading patterns are and hopefully, you know, we can all learn together. So that's basically Harmony 1. In a minute, you're looking really healthy. Just to summarise, if you was to correct any further for, for Harmony 1, you could potentially be looking at a rinse repeat of this pattern here, which we did target yesterday in the video. And you've got your levels of support, which we have outlined there. So again, just keep an eye that you don't fall through any of these support levels. Uh, okay, but onwards and upwards, and we are looking to march on to these highs eventually. I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, I hope you found it educational. Please stay with the channel. Please, um, you know, subscribe to the channel if you can, and also share, share the video on social media where you can, and also get involved in the Telegram group there. Let's get this Harmony One token. Take care all. Bye-bye.